The iStaffrota app can be downloaded from the stores by searching iStaffrota. Once installed, it can be used as a digital ID, as the front page shows the face ID of the employee, their full name, and the company they work for. Open shifts are published by the manager when no one has been assigned to the shift. Select to view the list. A list of open shift will be available for the user to review the details. Click to open. Then click on, accept, to be booked for work if available for work at this time. The user must select, booked shifts, to see all shifts assigned to them. Then, select the client name, to start executing the shift. The first step in the execution of the shift, is to clock in. The clock in button, will turn to, clock out. Details of the shift can be accessed by their individual icons, following a color coding convention, starting with, the shift detail page. Then a page containing additional instructions for the shift. Then, the care plan document page, for staff to get familiar with the client's care requirements. The blue area shows documents for mandatory reading, published by the manager, the most of important of which is the, handover notes. These are visit notes entered by staff for the last five days, to be read prior to delivering care. Also available, is a page for staff to report incidents at work. The manager will receive instant notification of this report. The dark green icon opens a page that allows staff to record visit notes. They can either type or record via speech to text. The user must select a mood before adding the note. Companies may use this mood as an indication of the mental health assessment at the time of writing the note. To execute the tasks related to the shift, the user must select the calendar icon, then open the tasks list from the relevant time frame. The user must read, then execute each task, and mark them completed by selecting the relevant action. The weekly plan tasks are set to enable carers to execute the care plan in detail. To mark a medication task complete, select the appropriate action. If assisting another carer, please select, cosign. Then add a signature. Signatures are mandatory for control drugs execution. Sign with you initials, then save. Finally, click save to complete the task. For a non-medication tasks, also select the appropriate action. Select, assisted, only if assisting another carer with the task. Add a short note, then save. If you go back to the shift page, scroll right, and click on the red icon. You are able to record any new activity risks, enter the required info then save. Going back to the main page, there are other functions available. For instance, select time off to request time off. And from the time off page, select the plus icon to request a new time off. Fill in the form, then submit to your manager. Right, going back to the main menu page, a secured chat service is available for your operation. The user must select, chat, to send a secured message to their manager. Then write an internal message to your manager and send. On the iStaffrota app, there are additional monitoring functionality for the manager. They can view all schedules by selecting the list icon on the left. The default view is the current date, but the manager can select any date from the top bar, to display shifts of that date. The manager also has the ability to create shifts on the move, if an urgent request has occurred. Click on the second icon from the bottom menu bar, then proceed as instructed. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.